Hey guys, this is Phil from the Goose Hummock Shop. It's Thursday. It was a lovely day earlier. It's gone a little bit cloudy, but it's still warm. I'm regretting putting my longs on today. Should have got my legs out. Um, but here we have it. We're the uh, couple of days after the storm that came through. Uh, the ocean is calming down. Uh, it's amazing how much. Uh, I walked the beach last night. We, two nights ago, we had 10 footers pounding in. Last night it was calm. Tonight, we shall all be fishing. Uh, most of the crew are actually going to be out on the outer cape on the outer beaches. Uh, we had a phenomenal time there last week. Uh, I think nine of us had 120 fish in one night. Uh, we'll be out on the outer beaches. We'll be chucking uh, pencils. We're going to be chucking some dive baits, some soft plastics, everything, just to see if those stripers are still here. Uh, looking forward to that. The uh, further south, um, we don't know really yet. The guys want to just start fishing, but we're sincerely hoping the Albies uh, endured the storm. I certainly know on Saturday when they were getting blown in on that nor'easter, they were doing really well over the weekend, tight into you know, Harwich down to Bass River. So I think there's a really good chance. Uh, Captain Dave, who's one of my guys who looks after our e-commerce, Dave's doing a charter tomorrow. He's going to be uh, fishing in the flats, but in the sound. So I'll have a better, re better report for you tomorrow. Uh, but again, I'm really hoping the Albies are still going to be with us um, so we can get in and get another week or so of those. On the tuna side of things, um, going into the, the bad weather, it was phenomenal everywhere. Um, the early indications from yesterday and today is it's actually strong. Um, I know several people who are tight um, out east and I know quite a few are si tight inside as well. And there's small fish being spotted all over Stellwagen. So again, you can still run and gun. Um, the bars actually, we had customers coming in buying bars because they caught on bars yesterday. So the bar bite is still going on, which is hilarious. I was late for that. It's great fun, best way to catch these smaller fish, in my opinion, other than running the gun in. Um, the bay, apart from that, I think I'd, I'd try on the south side beaches, you know, around Brewster, Dennis, because that nor'easterly wind would have pushed everything right down into the bay. Um, Barnstable's worth a try, probably, for bluefish as well. Canal, you know, the fish, obviously, with this colder weather that came through, the bay cooled down. They will be starting to move through the canal. You've got a chance there. And on the base, uh, sorry, on the on the bass scene, uh, freshwater, uh, we got some great pictures on our Instagram. Ian Big Mac uh, was out there today on his day off, catching whopping great larges uh, on Senkos. Larger bites getting better, and the trout are starting to wake up. Danny was getting into them after work. Um, the rainbows are really active. They're great because they've had all season. They're not stockies. They're a lot more active, a lot more quick, much better fight. You know, look after them, put them back, let somebody else catch another one. And it's only going to be a couple of weeks before they uh, they start stocking again. So the whole cycle of life for uh, the freshwater is coming around again. So I can see that's a bit it. I can't tell you too much because we haven't really fished the last few days with the weather. But the wind is dying down. The next few days going in the weekend is going to be great. It is going to get pretty shitty again, moving on from Sunday. Make the best of it. Get out there whilst you can. Have fun on or by the water, guys. Thanks very much. And by the way, I'm sat here with these load of boxes. This is load five of our fresh water that we're bringing in for the season. We have absolutely shed loads of it. So as you transition from the salt to the freshwater scene, we have it all. If you're staying on Cape, because um, you haven't gone home because of COVID, get on the water, get by the water. As the bass bite dies, the fresh water bite is only gonna get better, guys.